Hi, my name is Elena Key. I am the owner of a company called Key Technology Solutions. My company provides a setup and services for real estate agents, helping them set up systems and processes in a CRM called Follow Boss. For more information about that, you can check out the link in the description below. Today, I'm going to give my honest review about collective.com. Before I dive in, I want to say I'm not a tax consultant, an accountant, or a legal advisor. All of this is an opinion from someone who knows nothing about taxes and would not have been able to figure this out on my own. I wanted to give my opinion on no, not only collective, but also switching from being a self-employed sole proprietor over to S-Corp 20. I started a virtual assistant business completely by myself, venturing out, doing one-off odd projects for real estate agents. Word got around really quickly and my business grew and I realized I need to figure out a way to not only make my business scalable, but also to figure out how to figure out taxes. And I clicked the easy button. We hired a local tax accountant, CPA, to do our taxes. Whenever we filed our taxes with our CPA, she mentioned that if I planned on making any more than I did, it would be really beneficial for me to look into not only creating an LLC to protect myself, but also file as an S-Corp. For those who don't know what S-Corp is, S-Corp is a way that allows you self-employed people to save money on taxes. That's the simple explanation. It's sort of a loophole for keeping more money in your pocket, but in exchange, you have to track a lot more and it is really complicated. So my tax accountant, when we met with her, she gave me a lot of to-dos to write down that quickly made my eyes glaze over. Some of those tasks were, I needed to go file an LSC and what form I needed to fill out, what website I needed to go to. Then I needed to file that application to become an escort and the, the website I needed to go. And then I had to start doing bookkeeping and she mentioned some bookkeeping softwares because now I have to put myself on payroll and pay myself a reasonable salary as an employee because that's the way an S Corp works. You're now an employee of your business. And she said, I would have to do this all on my own. She would just file the taxes for me, but I would need to figure all of this out on my own and manage my bookkeeping. And I thought, this is such a huge undertaking. How in the world is someone supposed to do this plus run a business? And so at the time I was left leaving that, that meeting really defeated. I thought maybe I should just stop this freelance thing before it gets too big and just go back to a full-time job with benefits. So I don't have to deal with any of this, but I decided a couple of days later to loosely research how to make this happen to see if there's any way I could figure out how to do this mess. And I stumbled upon a website called collective. Collective adverse, advertised itself as a, an all-in-one financial solution for self-employed entrepreneurs. They claimed that they provide accounting, they help with your bookkeeping, your financial statements, your payroll, your administration, even helping you file for S-Corp if you don't have it yet, filing for LSC if you don't have it, doing your yearly business tax filings and your personal tax filing, and then quarterly tax support and estimates. At the time, I believe they were a fairly new company and I didn't find much information out there. So I was really skeptical about pursuing their help because there was not much and it would be an investment. And it sounded just too good for, to be true. It checked all the boxes of what I needed. So I decided to do a discovery call with their sales team. At the time, Collective was only available in a few states, and I was really glad that they were available in Texas, where I am located. On my sales call, they looked at how much I made last year for the last quarter, and they first predicted this may not be a good fit. You didn't make that much, and you're actually going to be losing money if you hire us if you make the same amount that you did last year. And I showed the person I was talking to, there's potential for growth. And so I do want to do this now before my business gets too big. So in the end, I decided to hire Collective because I did anticipate making more. So as soon as I onboarded, Collective followed my S-Corp. They set me up on QuickBooks and showed me the ropes. They helped me create a business checking account and they integrated that for me into QuickBooks. 
They set me up uh, and showed me how to set myself on a salary. They helped me figure out what is a reasonable salary so I don't get sus um, flagged as sus suspicious by the IRS by not paying myself enough. And after I joined, I saw that Collective was getting really popular really fast and that people like Ashton Kutcher were investing in them and they became, uh, they are now available in, um, as far as I know, all 50 states in the United States. So some of my comments about my onboarding experience is when I first onboarded with Collective, they set me up on Slack to message any questions and to manage my onboarding. And I found that the questions I was sending to the team via Slack were getting lost and their client base was growing too rapidly for the, the size of their company and the size of their staff members. I would have to send them reminders on Slack a couple weeks out after my initial request because it just got lost. And their messages to me got lost because things in Slack just can easily get missed. I also noted that whenever I did a support call, it was really hard to understand the person I was talking to because they were in a different country and they were outsourced. And so I was starting to get a little iffy on whether or not I wanted to stay with Collective. But about six months later, I noticed that Collective completely revamped their company structure and they left Slack. I now communicate with the team via email. They recently released your own custom dashboard within Collective that includes all of your important tax documents and business documents. And I now have a dedicated success manager whose name is Victoria. Shout out to Victoria. She's so amazing. And she will answer my questions instead or wrap me to the right person if I don't need, if she can't help me. And she continually sends me reminders about important things to keep an eye out for of what to do next. Beyond using Collective for my bookkeeping, my tax return, they, they'll even file any individual returns you have, like my husband's, because we were filing jointly. I love using their help for their advice. I've been on the receiving end of a lot of confusing letters in the mail from the state of Texas and from the IRS, and some were just a total scam telling me I had to pay some sort of fee to set it up, and it looked legit, but I wasn't sure. So anytime I received a confusing letter, I would send that um, copy of that document to Collective, and they will let me know, hey, this is scam, Just trash it, or we've already taken care of this for you, or we will take care of this for you. If we already are planning on taking it for you, or this is something we actually can't do for you, but here are the exact steps of what you need to do. I love being able to ask all of my random business questions. They are helpful in, in a little bit of capacity of business planning. Um, for example, when I needed to hire my first virtual assistant and contractor, they showed me the best way to go about it. And then they eventually helped me hire my first full-time employee. It can be very tricky to navigate the best route when hiring help of, do you go contractor? Do you go full-time? What are the, the pros and cons tax-wise of which way you go? They also guide me through what's called monthly reimbursements for tax deductible expenses that I pay through my personal checking account. Things like my home office, my internet, my phone, utilities, my mortgage, property taxes, because I work from home. This is a, an extra bedroom in my house. As of right now, they are helping me transition a contractor. She was my very first hire back in 2021 in the beginning into a full-time employee. She's become such an integral part of the business. I thought, yeah, she would have maybe 10 hours of work a week. And now she's quickly grown to 40 hours of work, uh, 40 hours of work a week. And so that would require to be a full-time employee, but this one is a little bit tricky because she's my first full-time hire outside of the state of Texas. So I had to register as an employer and a business in her state, which is in Indiana. And it was very confusing if I were to do it on my own and I probably would not have done it. So Gusto, which is the payroll service I get through paying for Collective is handling the employer and Collective is handling the registration of the business in Indiana. There is no way I could have continued my business after 2020, 
nor hired my assistants and contractors, nor hired full-time employees and continued to grow my business without the help of collective. There's no way I could have do this, done this on my own the way my local CPA told me I needed to do it. Although the onboarding process with, co with Collective was a little bit rocky, Collective has evolved so much and is continuing to do so every day by improving their company structure and their client experience. Bottom line, if you are self-employed and you file as a self-employed sole proprietor, I highly recommend not only signing up to be an LLC, but also look into becoming an escort or you can hire Collective to do it all for you. You're wearing enough hats as it is as a business owner, and I don't recommend adding the stress of managing your bookkeeping and filing these things and getting all these notices and figuring out what they all mean all by yourself. Collective has shared a promo code with me, so you can sign up for a discount, plus I get a discount in return. So if you found this video helpful and you do end up signing up with Collective, it would be super helpful if you sign up using promo code EK0599, which I've also put in the description if you wanted to just copy and paste. If you're not sure whether switching to S Corp is right for you because different laws and regulations vary from state to state, I highly recommend going to Collective's homepage. They have a calculator where you plug in your business type, um, what you do, how much you make, and they'll show you whether or not you'll save money. And their predictions are normally very conservative and realistic. To learn more about how to become S Corp, how to hire Collective, I highly recommend checking out Collective's blogs and even following them on Instagram. I follow them on Instagram and still learn new things every day, even though that's just for public knowledge. They go live every Tuesday. And on Mondays, you can submit your questions and they answer the general public's questions, all things tax, all thing, things X Corp. If you found this video helpful, please consider liking this video, subscribing and clicking the bell icon to my YouTube channel.